Y'all feel me? Yeah? Oh, you got, you got the light? That's what's up. You see the lights gleaming? I ain't talking to nobody. I'm here by myself. What's good, y'all? Welcome to Over Opinionated. Y'all been asking me to do a podcast, right? When you gonna do a podcast? What's good? Welcome to Over Opinionated. Shit, let's see how this shit go, bro. I'm recording this shit from my phone. Got the lights, though. Honestly, I just wanna try something new. I can't keep doing the same shit. I'm trying to elevate. Bro, the way that I see it, sanity is doing the same shit over and over and over again. Expecting different results. You don't notice a shitload of cut. Edit is a motherfucker. The reason why is because I'm a perfectionist. And I'm doing this shit by myself. So I can't bounce ideas off of somebody else. Supposedly, this is, this is a podcast. Honestly, it's just gonna look like a long ass YouTube video. I'm hoping through this podcast, y'all can get to know me a little better. And y'all can find some entertainment in my random ass thoughts. This is way different than TikTok. On TikTok, I only gotta talk for three motherfucking minutes. And this shit, I gotta talk for hours and then cut that shit down. By myself. I'm talking to myself for an hour. And no, these episodes are not gonna be no motherfucking hour. But this podcast is gonna be about honesty and transparency. For example, I was just in a motherfucking depression. And today my first day out. I didn't make no videos in the whole month of March. I was just posting old oh, shit. Y'all ain't know them. I needed to get my mind right. You know what I was stressing about? Social media. I know that sounds stupid as a motherfucker. But I'm trying to make a career out of this shit. It's, it's hard for me. Because I don't do stand-up. I don't act. But I want to be a comedian. That don't make no motherfucking sense. But I really enjoy creating content. TikTok got me shadow banned. Honestly, I've been shadow banned for like a year. And now they talk about they gonna ban TikTok. If I lose TikTok, I don't got nothing else. Don't nobody watch my YouTube videos. Bro, I average about like 17 and a half plays. Bro, I got so dumb. I made a fucking clapper account. A clapper? It sound filthy, don't it? Sound like a swinger app. That's what the freaks be. But I made the little account, right? Kinda is filthy, I ain't gonna front. But y'all gotta see this booty ass app. It's like they copy and pasted everything about TikTok. It's like the Walmart version, though. All of the videos lag, bruh. None of the words match with their mouth. Everybody on the app is talking like this. It's some bullshit. It's like watching an old kung fu movie. Let me tell you about the nasty shit. It's like an OnlyFans promo page. All the only fan holes are there. They use it to promote their shit. And they promote it as an 18 and over app. So I ain't cool with it. You know you gotta go on the settings to turn the nasty shit off. You know when you go on like Pornhub and shit. And they got the videos that say uh, NFSW or whatever the fuck it say. I just found out that means not suitable for work. Who the fuck going on Pornhub at work? I need to apply that. But yeah, you gotta turn that off in the settings. I'm not turning it off. But, I'm, but if, if, if you don't like the um, ass, then you probably shouldn't be on Clapper. Honestly, let, let me stop lying. Because they showing ass. They don't got much ass to show. That's the dope shit about the motherfucking app. You can curse all the fuck you want. You scroll up and all you see is ass. But I don't know if the app for me. I started getting plays and shit. Nobody liking my shit at all. Bro, I got a video that got like 200 plays and one like. And I'm the like. And please don't take offense to this. Everybody on that app is what? I don't think these motherfuckers understand my humor. When I logged into the app, I felt like I walked into Whole Foods. Some bullshit, bro. It's cool that you get to see cheeks on the app. But I like diversity in my cheeks. I'm trying to see buns, not avocado toast. Why they shutting down TikTok, bro? I'm gonna miss the cheeks on TikTok. I ain't gonna lie to you. Now I gotta go on clap and look at gluten free butts. Don't nobody wanna look at that. But like I was saying, social media had me fucked up. People don't understand when you a content creator, that shit really fuck with your mental health. But honestly, that shit only happens when you let it happen. And when you start paying attention to numbers. If you gonna get into social media, that, that's the best advice I can give you. Don't pay attention to the motherfucking plays. Don't pay attention to numbers at all. Cause once you start paying attention to the numbers, that should be like a drug. A motherfucking drug. And that upload button, that's that crack pipe. Is crack still a thing? That's such an old person reference, but it's real shit. Cause before you go viral, you don't even know what that shit feel like. In your mind, that shit's basically unattainable. But once that shit happens, you start chasing that high every fucking time. It's like the first time you get asked. No, after that first time, you wanna clap cheeks every motherfucking day. Even though you, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You don't really give a fuck if it felt good. You wanna feel that way every motherfucking day. That's how going viral feels. And you gonna wanna keep going viral cause your name growing and the opportunities are rising. But the advice that I wanna give y'all, never chase numbers. When you do that, you fuck up your whole content. You start doing the trendy shit, whatever the fuck they used to do on TikTok, and you stop doing the shit that you actually love that put you in position. See, that's what content creators usually fuck up. But the reason why I do that shit, like, you know why I be stressing the shit, is because I have this extremely high expectation for myself. Too high. To the point that I never really reached that. So I'm constantly feeling like a failure. And me not hitting those numbers adds on to me feeling like a failure. And that's why I be in my motherfucking head, you get what I'm saying? But other content creators, I think that they be mad about the numbers. Because, like, a lot a lot of people have this weird misconception about social media. A lot of motherfuckers come into this shit with the expectation to get rich. Like, this is an easy way out. But I don't think people understand. Ain't shit in life easy. Creating content ain't easy. I be mad as fuck when I hear, like, real comedians talking shit about social media comedians. I did stand up one time. And that shit was ass. So I'm not saying I could do what they could do. 
But when you put that shit in reverse, they can't do what we do. A lot of motherfuckers think that they gonna make a video. They gonna go viral. And then they gonna get rich off that shit. But when you go viral, you don't make money off that shit. You know how much TikTok used to pay? Hypothetically, if you in the creator fund, no, you getting 10 cents out of every thousand plays. I don't think people understand that a lot of content creators work a 9 to 5. I work at a fucking call center. Oh, this ain't no get rich skin. I create content because I genuinely love it. I'm not gonna lie to you. My aspirations is to wake up every day and do what I love for a living. And what I love to do is to create content. And I'm still not making no fucking money off this shit. And I continue to do this shit because I love it. But a lot of these other content creators, they don't love this shit. They just trying to get bread because they look at their favorite content creators, you know, driving whatever type of car or living in whatever type of house. A lot of y'all don't understand reality versus perception. These motherfuckers only show you what they want you to see. Kevin Gates said it the best. But these motherfuckers only showing you they highlight real. This shit don't be real. It's all smoke and mirrors. Always keep in mind two things. You don't know these motherfuckers in real life. And you could be whoever the fuck you want to be on social media. Social media is a lot of people's escape from reality. Hate to break it to you. No, the shit not real. Even if it was real, stop comparing yourself to other people. Uh, comparison is a thief of all joy. If you gonna do it, do it because you love it. Not because you see other people cashing out. And I promise you, motherfuckers not living how you think they are. You ever seen a chick that looks so bad on motherfucking Instagram? Then you see her in real life without the filters. But what the fuck? Hey, lady, did you leave your ass at home? But why didn't you bring your filters with you? But it go in general. You think the motherfuckers that post happy shit all the fucking time are happy all the fucking time? No, brother, they human just like you. And life is a roller coaster. We all experience high. Highs and lows. You gotta experience the lows to appreciate the highs. It's inevitable in the human experience. But why would motherfuckers post their lows? That don't even make sense. Bro, you never supposed to let motherfuckers know when you down. Some motherfuckers wanna see you at your lowest point. Cause misery love company. Bro, let them miserable motherfuckers be lonely. Anyway, let's get back to the podcast. But that's it, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. This first episode gonna be like six minutes. And for these six minutes, no bullshit, it took me four hours. I ain't know what the fuck to say. I'm gonna prepare for the next one. It's like a pilot episode. But this is how, like, the episode's gonna be. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be transparent. I'm gonna try to be entertaining. And we gonna cover everything. Pop culture, current event, music, sports. Uh, relationships. It took me filming this entire shit to realize this ain't gonna be no motherfucking podcast. Ain't no fucking way. I filmed for four hours. Got seven minutes of content. So, this is not a podcast. These are over opinionated conversations. So, we gonna keep all these shits ten minutes. Podcast. <laughs> Nah, hell no, nah. ain't no fucking way, bro. These motherfuckers be talking for how long? Nah, ain't, ain't no fucking way, bro. I, I, nah, podcast, nah. But if y'all still watching, I want to let y'all know I appreciate y'all. I fucks with y'all, and I'm going to fuck with y'all. I, I'm done, bro.